Rawson created such a compelling character, which you don't get to see very often, you know, someone who's complex and and uh, interesting and powerful and, and vulnerable at the same time, you know, I, I think that that was very exciting for me. On top of the fact that when I was younger, um, I used to love disaster movies, right? Towering Inferno, The Poseidon Adventure, Earthquake, any of these movies which put, uh, you know, our, our mankind in, in peril, in kind of a constricted space, was something that I, I loved. So to, to read a script that brought back all the memories of, of my favorite films from the 70s was, uh, was very uh, exciting for me. Well, he's a maverick uh, genius uh, technopreneur, you know, so he's always looking to push the boundaries of human endeavor. I think that's one of the reasons why he wants to build this uh, building. But he also sees it as a chance to change the world. I mean, the building is a world unto itself. It is self-sustaining. It is like it is like a, a living thing. Uh, it has uh, thousands of solar panels, uh, wind turbine engines that that fuel it. Um, so, in that respect, I think he's looking to change the world for the better. There's obviously a little bit of hubris uh, and ego involved because. Um, you know, with every great man and their visions, uh, there is the idea to be better and faster and bigger than anyone else. Rawson, you know, paid uh, great attention to to um, the landscape, you know, and the culture. Uh, in getting the cast uh, together uh, as well, you know, he has gone for a level of authenticity that is uh, rarely seen. So you have um, uh, Xia, you know, played by a Chinese actress, and and you know um, uh, Inspector Wu, also played by someone who who you know Cantonese is is his native language. Uh, that level of authenticity definitely helps, you know, especially when a movie that is this big and so uh, epic in its scope uh, that grounds us in a kind of reality in which we can then, you know, really uh, feel for the characters. Hi there, I hope you liked the video. Now, I have to be quick on this one as I'm trying to set a record. Did you know the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor was Anthony Quinn's 8 Minute to the Forces Go Again in the 1956 movie Last for Life? Meanwhile, the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress was Beatrice Strait's 5 minutes and 40 seconds performance in the 1976 film Network. Yes! Well, looks like a bit both of them. So if anyone from the Academy is watching, you know where to find me. Oh, by the way, my name is Valeria. Now, remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See ya!